The Israeli communication satellite Amos 4 was successfully launched into space overnight from atop a Russian rocket fired from the Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The satellite, built by Israel Aerospace Industries, is expected to reach its designated orbit in three weeks and provide communication services for about a third of the world. IBA's Arie O'Sullivan was at the Amos 4 Control Center today, and he files this report. It is the largest and most advanced communications satellite ever built in Israel. The Amos 4 lifted off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan at exactly 55 minutes before midnight. The last launch from a Russian rocket a few weeks ago failed, and operators at the control station in Yehud waited with bated breath during the launch. It's a mixture of apprehension and excitement. We're going for the launch. The last one failed. You've invested years and hundreds of millions of dollars into building this. Everyone's invested all their time. People have been away from home for months. And it's either going to be a resounding success or a god-awful failure. And you have no control over it whatsoever. So we clapped our hands once a little bit when the actual launch was, what you guys see on TV. We clapped it again when the third stage of the rocket booster ignited. And that's the most dangerous part. And when that ignited, we clapped our hands and we're happy. We've had a form, few more hand claps over the last few hours as we've been testing more and more systems and more things have been coming online. The Amos 4 is a massive satellite built at the Mabat plant of the Israel Aerospace Industries in Yehud. It weighs in at 4.2 tons and is about the size of a school bus. No doubt the successful launch of the Amos 4 puts tiny Israel in the top five nations that are capable of putting into space communication satellites. These fellows behind me now are working to try to boost the satellite up to 36,000 kilometers above the Earth around the equator. And within six weeks, it should be operational. In space, its solar panels will open up so it will have a wingspan of some 17 meters. It has 24 transponders and will cover Western Europe, Eastern Asia, and the Middle East. Satellites are a huge growing market nowadays. Everyone wants more internet and higher definition television. The best way to do that is through satellites. You can reach every small village, every big town with the same type of service. And it's very reliable service. So satellites are growing very nicely over the last few years. The Amos reportedly cost over $350 million and has a lifespan of over 15 years. It's going to be for commercial use. It's going to give televisions, um, point-to-point -point communications, a lot of broadband internet is becoming a huge market. And when you want to reach faraway places that don't have fiber optics, so this is the cheapest and the best way to go, it's extremely reliable. So many places prefer using satellite communications rather than cellular communications, for example, and we all know that doesn't always work well. Satellites very rarely fail. With the successful launch of the Amos 4, Israel has once again proven itself to be a powerhouse when it comes to communication and surveillance satellites. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said in the cabinet meeting today it was one of the best pieces of news we've received over the past week. Israel is a first-class satellite manufacturer. Our observation satellites are amongst the best in the world. Our communication satellites are excellent. And Amos 4 has brought us into the big league of communication satellites. So we're very, very proud of this achievement. There are very few countries in the world that can make satellites of this class. From IAI, this is Ariel Sullivan for IBA News.